Hey, welcome back to the Bearded Shaver. Uh, today, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a head shave. I do have the Chella, which I picked up recently. A nice amaretto scent. <clears throat> uh, almond. It's an almond shaving cream, <clears throat> but it has an amaretto scent. I will be using my Vikings Blade, the White Knight Synthetic Brush. And for an aftershave, I got me some Clubman Virgin Island Bay Rum. I figured it'd pair well nice with the Cella. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to it. As always, I will be using the Enigma Shaving Cube from PAA. But first, let's go ahead and get my head wet. There you go, some nice hot water. Dip my Enigma cube and let's apply this bad boy. I picked up the Cella from Amazon for about, let's say, I think it was $14. Um, I love the scent. Apparently, though, my wife hates that scent. She said it smells like old lady cold cream. Uh, I don't know how true that is because I've never smelled old lady cold cream. But I love the scent. All right, and just for reference... It's been about four days since I've shaved my head last. Uh, just been busy at work, haven't had time to do it. I got my Vikings blade soaking in some hot water right here. Just shake out the excess. Open up the cella. Now the cella itself is not a hard soap and not a soft soap. It's more like a uh, like a soft cream. All right, let's see how well this thing lathers. And already you can see it's getting a pretty good lather on there. Oh, man, I love this smell. All right, now again, I tend to run my shaving soap a little bit dry because I add more water with my R4 as I am shaving my head. Let's get this applied. And I'm still breaking in my brush, so it is shedding a little bit, which is normal. Uh, it is synthetic, but it still will shed. Now, since I typically add a little bit of water with my electric razor when I'm shaving my head. I'm going to try just dipping my brush in a little water and see what it does. <clears throat> Still definitely running a little dry. I can see a little soap flakes coming off. All right, let me try to add a little more water. There we go. No more soap flakes. All 
All right, I'll set this down in case I need it. As you can tell, it is getting a nice lather. Check out those peaks, guys. Felt a little bit of water did the trick. I'm going to get my R4 and dip it in the water. I do it while it's running just to allow it to circulate throughout, clean out maybe something I didn't catch before after uh, my last head shave, even though I do clean out my razor every single time. And this is fully charged. I do charge it every single time I'm done using it. One thing I hate is going to do a head shave or using my electric uh, Philips Norelco beard trimmer and not having enough charge to do what I need to get done. All right, a little bit of water and guys, let's go ahead and get to it. And as always, I start out here in the front. And when I'm testing a new product, what I'm really looking for is how slick it's going to be after I use um, the shave soap for the first time or the initial pass. I like to go over my head multiple times, so therefore I like to have a residual slickness. So we're going to see how this performs. Chella has been around since about 1899. So hopefully they got their formula dialed in. Now for my first pass, as always, I am just debulking it right now. And then about the second or third pass... I'm going to be touching up. Just because like everybody, I have problem areas that I have to go over a few times in order to get it the uh, smoothest that I do want my head shave. Now I can use this electric razor dry if I wanted to. I just like to test out shave soaps and that's why I do it wet. All right, let's fill around here. Ooh. Yeah, that's still pretty slick. That yeah, we're going to find out for sure once I go through the first pass. I dip the razor in some water. And let's get the other side here. And I'm just going to readjust here. So I can get the bottom wheel to ride against my ear and get all that hair behind my ear. Just ride it nice and slow at a steady pace and let it ride, guys. Let it ride. All right, gonna move over to the other ear and just make sure I'm getting most of that hair back there.
I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of water and I'm gonna go over my hair right here and right over here. That is the hair that does connect to my beard. And again, I can't stand having that hair there. Uh, I just feel extremely dirty when I do have that hair. And also I need to go light on that because it is sensitive and it will get me a um, razor burn, electric razor burn. All right, that should do for that side. Let's go ahead and get this other side here. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and get the back. I'm not gonna use the mirror to do this at first. I will do it for the second pass just to make sure I got everything. All right, let's get to the back, guys. Again, you're just using circular motions while you're doing this. It's the easiest way to cut it down on the first pass. Then on the second and possibly third pass, you're going to be going against the grain and across the grain. Just like you would with traditional wet shaving. And right now I'm just going over the very top of the back of my head and I'll be going down through the bottom and then toward my neck area where I need to take a little time because again I have to go a little further down uh, just so I don't get that electric razor burn which is a thing. And I'm just going to be using my hand as a gauge to see where I have cut and where I haven't. All right, that's pretty good. Let's move on to the lower neck. Smell is still there. All right, now something I want to do just to test the slickness of it, of the residual shaving soap, and I'm going to dip my R4 in some water. I'm going to go back over this area since it's the last thing that I touched, or sorry, the first thing that I touched, uh, so it's a little bit drier. I just want to see how it reactivates this area. All right. There we go. Just had to give it a second for that water to kick in. Well, that's pretty slick. Some other soaps, if I go back and forth on the second pass without reapplying my shave soap, it'll dry up and again, I'll get razor burn up here. I get little red lines from the actual razor heads, which are metal. And okay, so I'm going to turn off my R4 real quick and I'm just going to rehydrate my head.
I'm going to go ahead and add a second head pass with my soap. I have plenty of it, so might as well use it. Just grab a little water, drip it on the top, and reapply. Again, running a little dry. I'm going to try to add a little bit more water and see how this comes out. So let me get this out there first. Alright, grab a little more water, dump it in the middle of my brush. And there it is. That's a nice lather. And again, still got plenty. And let's grab a little bit of this. Let's see if I can get you guys some peaks here. There we go. That's our peaks right there. Now let me dry off my hands and I'm going to grab my mirror. I'm going to be working on the back just to get it nice and smooth down. Then work on my sides here by going against the grain. Let's go get my R4 dipped in some water. And turn around. Again, being mindful of my neck area, I am not pushing down at all with my razor. And I do know my problem areas, uh, that's why I'm pressing down a little bit harder. I know you guys don't see it, but right around those areas, I'm just pressing down a little bit harder. Alright, let's stop here real quick, just give it a fill with my hand. That got it pretty good. Little touch up right around here and on the other side, same spot. But in my real problem areas, right here and here on the other side, it's doing great. Alright, let's get the top. I don't need my mirror for this. Yeah, get my R4 dipped in some water. I'm going to set my mirror off to the side here. Just want to reactivate this area.
And this is where I'm going against the grain. I usually do a four, uh, sorry guys, I do a few short passes like this, and then I go long passes. Alright, let's fill that. That's exactly where I want it. And let's get the other side. And then I can go over the top here right after that. Don't need too much uh, touch up up here. And get a little water. Grab some of that excess soap. Reapply it up here. There we go. And you see some of these shedding hairs right here. Not a problem. Every brush, pretty much every brush goes through that. And with the Vikings blade on the Amazon website, it says it does shed when you first use it. So it is nothing to be surprised about. And I'm glad they put that down because some customers did comment that it was shedding upon first use and it wasn't good quality. That's not the case. They clearly put it on the description that it does shed. I need a little add more water there. Get that water running down my face. All right. Dip it, and let's get the top here again. Just reassurance to me to make sure I got all the hairs up here. Alright, let's go ahead and get this wiped off. Grab a little water. And that's it. So let's go ahead and throw on some of the uh, Clubman Bay Rum. Again, this was purchased from Amazon. I think uh, this is the six ounce bottle, cost me $7. Pretty strong smelling right out of the bottle. Uh, I want to see how that's going to play with me as the day progresses. So I'm probably doing about a nickel size here. Again, let it sit for a few seconds. And then apply. All right, and the real test for that aftershave is going to be what my wife says later. And I will let you know in a future video what the verdict is. But Thank you guys again for uh, joining me for a, another head shave. I really do appreciate it. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And uh, I'll get you guys on the next one.